Dr. Romano to do a video on organic synthesis. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Death Destroyer book. I want to go over a question with you today that involves several steps, but the steps are important because the reactions are going to be seen in the data exam. So come along and let's have a look at how I do a synthetic procedure. What I want to do is to go from ethyl benzene and create this amide in several steps. Now, the first thing I do is what my professor always told me is ask yourself two questions. How are they the same and how are they different? If you label these two carbons that I'll put red dots on, you can see that those two carbons are up here. Now, what I'm going to do is mentally bisect this molecule. So don't even focus on that. Right now, we want to focus on adding one extra carbon. Now, there's a few ways to do it. Um, you could eventually do it with a Grignard, but I'm going to show you a different way. What I'm going to do is to take ethyl benzene and hit it with bromine light, or I could have used NBS. What that's going to do is put the bromine on the first position where we abstracted a benzylic hydrogen and we now got a bromine. I then do the E2 reaction. When I took potassium T-butoxide in T-butyl alcohol and that gave me my E2 product. Then I'm gonna use HBr and peroxide. That'll put the bromine to the outside. If you remembered, this reaction is very important for the DAT. It's an anti macabnikov addition. Then I'm going to do an SN2 reaction where I'm going to knock out the bromine and put in a cyanide. So NACN in DMSO, which is a polar aprotic solvent, knocks out the cyanide and puts in, or knocks out the bromine and puts in the cyanide. Then acid hydrolysis and heat converts the cyanide group into a COOH group. Then I treat it with thionyl chloride that replaces the OH group with a CL. And then finally, as you can see, you need a secondary amine and you're gonna split off the HCL and that locks it together and you knock off this. And notice the pyridine will react and remove the acid so it doesn't react with our product. And there you have it. So you had several steps on your way to going from ethyl benzene into this amid. All right, I hope this clears things up and how to go about doing some synthesis. Every one of these reactions could land in the DAT and make sure you understand each step. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.